Hi and welcome to my today's video. I'm going to show you my speed paint and talk about learning how to draw. But I want to tell you that I'm not art school graduate, I'm not freelance illustrator or graphic designer. I don't even take commissions. So I'm not going to teach you. Uh, this video is about what I did to be able to do stuff you see on your screens now. So get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and I'm going to start. So there are tons of tutorials, articles and books about drawing and I remember following some of them on how to draw human's body using blocks, spheres, circles and ovals but I, as I did them I couldn't understand how it can help me to draw better and you know it never looked good when I tried to draw different pose. I'm not saying that those tutorials aren't helpful, they really are, but only if you understand why you're doing them and what's the purpose of practicing those um, exercises they are showing. The thing that everybody will tell you is that don't buy expensive art supplies right away because you, you don't know if you're going to stick with it. So simple sketchbook and few graphite pencils of different hardness is the best choice you can do. Since I wanted to draw portraits, I just started from the portraits. And as I did my first piece, I wasn't sure how big the eyes should be. Uh, I didn't know how or why to draw the face and a lot of different things. And as I finished it, I looked at my finished art. I thought that Probably I need to learn about proportions, that something is wrong. And I googled a few tutorials, watched the videos, and I started second drawing. The good thing about drawing is that after those tutorials, you notice slight improvements every time you draw something. So I did a few more pieces, and I noticed that they look kind of dirty and messy, and that's when I thought that probably it's time to read about values, shadows, light source, and all of this, those things. I think you already got my point, and as you practice and do more and more uh, drawings and sketches, you step by step learn in the essential things that you need to know to be a better artist. Also, I believe that the fact that I was drawing only faces helped me to stick with this hobby because I, I drew what I really liked. And don't be afraid to start drawing because you don't need any talent to be able to create something with the paper and pencil. And yes, you're going to suck at first because we all go through that, you just need more practice. And actually if you ask any artist, they will tell you that they suck too. because. <laughs> No matter what your level is, you understand that you lack some knowledge and skills and you will want to practice more and as you go further and further, you will get better eventually. You can find hundreds of videos where uh, other artists show their sketchbooks and there are some pages and they're like, yeah, that day I spent practicing hands or noses or horses, I don't know. And you feel like you need to do the same thing and I felt this way too. I tried to spend day practicing some part of human body but I didn't really enjoy it. I felt kinda bad that I don't practice drawing something else and I went back drawing face. I actually I didn't even draw hair or neck or shoulders, just the face. Um, and as I was doing more and more sketches I realized that, you know, I already spent less time on the face, so I still have energy to draw and practice something else. And I started doing hair. It did look ugly at first, and sometimes it still looks ugly when I draw it, but at least I started practicing the thing that I didn't like to do. It took me a lot of time to start wanting to draw something else except the face, like neck and shoulders. And it took me three years to one started drawing half bodies, full bodies, drawing fabrics and textures and even sometimes backgrounds. 
you probably seen those videos like five mistakes that the beginners do in drawing and one of the mistakes is always drawing flying heads and I will tell you that if you draw flying heads it's absolutely okay because as the time goes and as you practice more and more you will want to draw something else initially I was drawing just in sketchbook using graphite pencils but I really wanted to try colors and digital art because you know you spend money one time on tablet and maybe software and you already have all the possible colors and brushes well sometimes you need to buy brushes if you want to but you don't have to back then I didn't really know anything about layers and uh, any blending modes but eventually I learned about them uh, I remember when I wanted to draw shadows I would use black <laughs> And of course, all of my uh, pieces looked dirty and then I decided I think I need to use browns and they still look kind of flat and boring. Since everything I did digitally didn't really look right, I decided to go some other artists, how they draw shadows, how they uh, choose colors. And of course I noticed that none of them used blacks or browns. Uh, they used all of the different colors like blues and reds and yellows and greens for shadows. And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> now I know. Since I'm drawing just for my own pleasure and enjoyment, I don't feel pressured or uh, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about uh, how many mistakes I did because probably a lot since I'm learning everything myself but it's okay because I'm not getting money for that I'm not trying to become illustrator or something it's just some thing that I enjoy doing sometimes so it's okay for you too there is more enjoyable way to learn about drawing and not feeling pressured to show your works to other people uh, being afraid that other artists gonna uh, tell you some negative things about your skill. So let's sum up the things that I wanted to say by making this video. And the first thing is you don't need talent to be able to draw. You don't need to learn all of the essential things like composition, proportions, color theory, shadows and blah 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 right away. You can learn them step by step as you practice every day. Don't feel bad or guilty if you don't like drawing some things like landscapes or hands or pens. <laughs> because as you become more confident in your art, uh, when you start calling yourself artist, you will want to try some different stuff except things that you already like and can do. Next thing is fancy expensive art supplies don't matter because you need to learn how to draw first to use them. Obvious that you need to practice uh, every day to become a better artist so I'm not going to talk about it a lot. And even though there is a word pain in painting you don't have to suffer, you don't have to feel stressed or nervous when you draw because it's actually a very relaxing process. Spend some time and put some effort and you will see better results with every next drawing. I can only hope that this video was helpful and I'm already talking too much, I feel very tired. But thank you so much for watching. My videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!